What is it? Well, one of the things when we have a vanishing edge, we like to have something to anchor the edges. So a lot of times we'll do a column uh, and set something on the column. Well, here, actually, we just have it, uh, we didn't build it up, we just kept it flat, but we did put pots on the corner to anchor the edges of the vanishing edge. Now, one thing you gotta remember about pots. Okay, if you're gonna water your pots every day, just figure your plants are gonna die, turn brown, and you know, just they're not gonna look very good for you in the middle of Texas heat. So, we have solutions for that. So what we do is, if we understand that there's going to be pots in certain location, which there's three on that side of the vanishing edge, there's three on this side of the vanishing edge, and they are actually spaced equally. And so those pots, we actually ran water lines, which you can see the drip emitter right here. If you come real close and look. Okay, so we have a drip emitter that's plumbed from underneath that comes up through the pot and waters the pot every day. The other thing that's underneath here that you don't see is there's actually a drain line. So as we water the pot, if it gets too much water, it doesn't overflow and stain the travertine and look hideous and ugly. Uh, it actually goes down the drain into the drain system. So if you're going to use pots, one of the things that you want to think about is the location of them, the size of them, and then plumb, irrigation, and set up drainage accordingly and it'll end up with a lot better situation than if you try to water them by hand and they turn brown and ugly and dark. So for green lovely plants, put drains and irrigation in. This is Mike, we're in South Lake, hope you're having a great evening, love those plants.